so we're now in our, in our continuation video in number theory and here we're going to talk about a corollary or a good result of theorem 3.6 okay so the argument that we gave in theorem 3.6 that's the previous video brings out a point worth stating explicitly that is if x sub 0 is any solution of a is a times x is congruent to b mod n then then the d equals gcd of a a and n incongruent solutions are given by these okay we will have first the x sub 0 x sub 0 plus n over d x sub 0 plus 2 times n over d x sub 0 up until okay up until x sub 0 plus d minus 1 times n over d and that is to say that x equals okay x equals x sub 0 plus n over d times t where t can be anything from 0 to d minus 1 is what we call the general solution of the linear congruence okay so this one this equation here x equals x sub 0 um, plus n over d times t and t can be any number from 0 up until d minus 1 is what we call the general solution of the, of the linear congruence so this is the this is the effect of theorem 3.6 this is the main effect of it okay telling us the general solution likewise um very similar to the effect of the theorem in the linear de Fantine equations okay so let us also record for your convenience let us also record the form of theorem 3.6 it also takes a special case actually when a and n are assumed to be relatively prime so we will call this a corollary from theorem 3.6 so the corollary states that okay corollary 3.1 let's call this the, our first corollary so we call this 3.1 if the gcd of a and n is equal to 1 that is to say they are relatively prime then the linear congruence ax congruent to b mod n has a unique solution meaning there's only one solution if their gcd is one okay so that's the that's the corollary we won't be proving it here now given the rel relative integers a and n the congruence ax is congruent to one mod n has a unique solution only one solution this solution is sometimes called the multiplicative inverse of a mod n okay so this is fairly a short video um, telling us the corollary. Let me again show the corollary to you. Here you go. So in the next batch of videos, we'll be giving you some examples of how this theorem 3.6 is done in action. Okay, so thank you very much. And I hope that you will like and subscribe. Okay, see ya.